always wants to chirp the speed bumps. Torquey little thing, isn't it? Hey, yo, what's up? Duff here. Yes, I'm on a wheel. First time since my crash. First time riding since my crash, which was, what was it, two weeks ago at this point? I don't know, something like, yeah, probably two weeks ago. How does it feel, all right? How does it feel to be on a wheel? I've had people that have asked me, oh, what wheel am I on? What wheel did I choose for my return ride? My veteran Patton. My veteran Patton that I have not ridden uh, much at all lately. You saw that I did check the tire pressure on it. And guess what? Like I said, I haven't ridden the wheel in a while and I haven't checked the, the tire pressure on that wheel or on this wheel in even longer. PSI was 18, 18 PSI. So yeah, that is gonna be part of my new pre-ride checks. I will be checking tire pressure before each and every ride. That is, um, that is something I've been neglecting to do. I will be neglecting it no further. In addition, I do have my padded uh, hip and, and rear end protectors on as well. You can't tell, but I can feel it. So in the case that I would hit the ground, it will hopefully be less impactful to my rear end or my hips. So we just got past Hurricane Milton yesterday. Hurricane Milton hit landfalls right around Siesta Key, which is an area that I've been to. I was there last year actually uh, for a few days. It's a beautiful area. I used to play volleyball up there quite a bit as well. That area got smacked. Uh, our area, I did, I did a couple videos to social media about uh, how it's been here. Mostly wind, there really wasn't significant rain. We were not in the rain quadrant of the storm. So even though we got tons of rain the days leading up to Milton, from Milton itself, we got next to no rain whatsoever, which was kind of weird, right? But good, because we didn't need any more. So no rain, uh, did get rather windy. The yard was kind of covered in uh, oak tree branches, small, smallish oak tree branches, and uh, had a little damage to my fence, but nothing, nothing significant at all. So all in all, we got through it very easily. The storm also gave me an opportunity to install my hurricane shutters for the first time ever. I, I bought them last year, never got to try them out. I decided to try them out, put them up. Seemed to work really well. Did a video on it if you don't if uh, you want to see it what they are how they look like and uh, how long it took to install it's been a very weird week you know my office has been closed tuesday through today today's thursday reopens tomorrow been a weird week uh, my sense of time is all kind of whacked out now even though i said that, that i did not have significant problems there are people in, the, in our area <coughs> that did have some pretty significant problems uh, this morning, I actually took a friend of mine that lives uh, right by the beach. I had to take her inland to go pick up her vehicle. She moved it inland because of the potential for storm surge uh, that we did We did definitely get. Uh, she said that at one point they had somewhere in the neighborhood of five feet of water uh, at her place at the bottom. Five feet, yeah, that's no joke. It receded, but you know there is a, a mess to be dealt with since, since that uh, went down. So even though I was fortunate there are people in our area that uh, have much more to deal with than I do. Even now we do still have some wind action going on. I, I'm, I'm getting smacked around by gusts a little bit here. Please subscribe. Nothing close to yesterday. Like I don't, I don't think that we crossed 50 miles an hour with gusts down here. <coughs> but even that's enough to uh, cause some problems. But uh, not nearly as bad as uh, Cat 3 strength uh, winds that they had up north. So one of the questions I got in comments quite a bit since the crash is, and I, I touched on this earlier, are you scared? Are you scared to ride again? And obviously, no, I'm riding. Do I feel fearful right now? No, no, I don't. Do I feel uh, maybe a, a weird sense of hesitation <laughs> or a weird sense of awareness? Knowing now knowing what it feels like to go from everything's fine in my world to oh my god my world's gonna end in, in a blink of an eye That's a, that's a new reality, 
but it's not it's not something that's going to stop me from doing a hobby that I've that I've enjoyed for a long time. You know, I really I've always loved electric unicycles, and it's just I, I just move forward with the hobby now with a different sense of awareness and a, a different a different routine as far as preparedness to try to prevent that scenario from happening again. And part of that's going to include not necessarily putting me in those positions uh, quite as often where I'm on a, on a rather narrow bike lane with three lanes of active traffic. That isn't a situation that I should feel as comfortable in as I have grown to be in the past. Yes, I know I keep jumping between Hurricane uh, Milton things and uh, post-crash related things. I was, uh, I've, been, I've been on a three-day Dunkin' Donuts um, fast. <laughs> Not intentional. They closed on Tuesday as well. <coughs> so I couldn't get coffee Tuesday. Uh, they were closed yesterday. Most places were closed yesterday. And this morning I'm like, okay, well, they'll be open now, right? They'll be open. And uh, no, no, still closed. That was kind of a bummer because I could use some Dunkin' Donuts coffee to help put a little bit of a, a, little bit of a pep in my step. Uh, this morning, first thing I did is I picked up a bunch of the branches that were uh, scattered around the yard, went through the, the gutters. There's a bunch of branches that were in the gutters and the branches caused clogs. Clogs caused the gutters to be ineffective. So I went around the house and did that as well. So I was busy and then I was gonna, I was looking forward to getting that cup of Dunkin' Donuts coffee and uh, it, was, uh, it was not available to be had. But you know, life goes on. Much bigger problems out there. So you may ask, so Duff, where are you going? What are you doing? Um, it's, it's a very kind of a loose sort of thing. Again, this is just primarily just to get a wheel back underneath me, right? That's the primary point of this, but I think I am gonna go uh, buzz by Dunkin' Donuts again, just to see if maybe, maybe they're opening up in the afternoon. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I have a feeling the answer is no, but I'm, I'm still gonna buzz by there. I'm gonna buzz by the pickleball courts to see what the status of those are. I've heard that the courts are okay, but they have no power there. But I'd like to go verify that for myself. And after that, who knows? Who knows what will go on from there? Another reason that I haven't really been in a rush to ride is the elbow. You know, the elbow that had many layers of skin ground off of it. It's still painful, still wrapped, uh, still recovering. But trying to get elbow guards on that would have been uh, pretty much impossible up until a couple days ago. So that's another reason that I have not been rushing out to ride once again. Oh boy, it's you know, a little windy. Those of you that follow me on Instagram probably have seen the, the flap of camouflage material hanging out the back of my helmet. This is something um, I actually bought after a uh, conversation with Dawn. Dawn was talking about how when I was out there last time you know, I, was, I was doing a lot of work outside and, and she noticed how red my neck gets. You know, I'm a genuine redneck. I have, a lot of, I have a lot of neck, I have a long neck with an irritating voice, according to some people. Um, but this is designed to keep the sun off your neck. It's basically like a, a, a skull cap with this flap of material on the back. I'm using it, that's another change. It doesn't really bother me. And uh, yeah, if I can stop from getting excessive sun exposure on my back, why not? If I'm being honest, I must have been running at a pretty low pressure on the patent for a while because uh, the wheel feels uh, noticeably different with 28 or 29 PSI in the tire compared to what I'm accustomed to. So yeah, I, I might have been running low 20s for, uh, for a while and not even realized it. I almost forgot I, um, I did a, a live stream last night too, like a, about an hour long live stream, just sitting out in the lanai. It was right around the time that um, Milton made landfall. So it was, it was pretty gusty outside. Uh, but just kind of shot the, sh shot the shit for uh, an hour or so. So if you are interested in listening to me shoot the shit while Hurricane Milton uh, was about 100 miles above us, feel free to check out the live stream section on my website. These gusts are uh, affecting me a little bit here. <laughs> I'm getting pushed around. I'm feeling um, uh, not quite as stable as I would like and not quite as willing to go as fast as uh, I would normally go. All right, Dunkin' Donuts is still closed. I can see that from here. This is one of the things I dealt with when I was taking 
Uh, my friend to go get her vehicle this morning is traffic lights that are out. Uh, I would say probably three quarters of the traffic lights that I went up to uh, were out. Uh, the rule is when traffic lights are not functioning, you treat it like a four-way stop sign. Uh, a lot of people either don't know that rule or don't care, and we're just blowing through them, which can be potentially dangerous. So yeah, that's annoying. I normally would cross there. Dunkin' Donuts is still closed. I, I could see it's still closed. Still has a sign up in the window. So yeah, it looks like no coffee for me today. Although I did see the one in downtown Naples is open. Um, hmm, do I want to ride there though? Yeah, I'm, and I don't have my coffee drinking helmet on anyway, so yeah, it doesn't really make sense. We'll just go without. So you can tell by looking uh, at the parking lot that a lot of things are closed and a, uh, a lot of them are probably closed due to lack of power. Uh, there have been, even though my house has been okay with power, I only had some uh, some very brief power outages. Uh, there are areas around here that do not have power. Uh, not having power would be a good reason to not open your business. So I'm assuming all these places probably do not have power. Always wants to chirp the speed bumps. Torquey little thing, isn't it? Torquey, torquey. On the way back from uh, dropping my friend off, I went to I went to uh, the Wawa that I go to. I've talked about Wawa quite a bit in the past to get a sandwich. And Wawa was open, but evidently it was a testament to how many things are not open because it was absolutely jam packed. For me to get my six inch tuna sub took probably 20 minutes. Whereas it usually takes two minutes. So yeah. Yeah, at first, at first I was I was skeptical about us even being the office being closed today, but I guess you know there, there's just there's more impact than you realize when you're sitting at home and you have pretty negligible uh, issues. You know, I have power and, and only minor minor disruption. You you kind of assume that it's that way for everybody, and it definitely is not. Well, that was one of the things I was going to mention was uh, I was. I started to work on, on trying to get the, the master from that I used in the crash, that, that I crashed with. 100% uh, back to normal yesterday, I, I started to try to install the parts that I got from E-Wheels and I ran into some other issues. The, um, a couple things. My light assembly had the horn or the beeper attached to it, speaker, and uh, the one I got from E-Wheels did not have that and my speaker was broken so I, I couldn't like move it across and reuse it or something so I had no speaker and I didn't realize that the long screws that go through the seat in the front that attach to the headlight uh, those were bent to shit as well on my wheel so I and I did not have replacement screws so once again e-wheels was helping me out and sending me the parts that I need thank you again Nick Jason and the whole team at eWheels. They've been very helpful in this process. Yeah, I'm just kind of riding back towards the house now. I, I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to be on 41 where I have to deal with uh, traffic lights being out and then people uh, casually observing the four-way stop rule. That sounds that sounds like a bad situation for me. What I'm thinking about doing is going going over to the pickleball court from uh, my street because I know the traffic light there is working. <clears throat> I, could go, I could go across there and not have quite the, quite the problems. That is my new plan. My plans are malleable. Malleable, is that a word? Yeah, it is. My plans are very malleable. They need to be. Yours should be too. Often the case, the, the more time I'm getting here in the wheel, I'm, I'm feeling uh, more at home, more confident. Please That's subscribe. always the case, right? And yes, the patent is the wheel that I rode in that tropical storm a month or two ago. Was I considering doing it again with Hurricane Milton? Yes. But the fact that Milton was basically wind and not rain, it just it didn't sound like a good idea. You know, really high gusts on the wheel would be <coughs> bad. I'd rather just ride through rain. And there wasn't really much rain to, to ride through, so I scrapped that idea. Yes, yes, I'm on a roadway with no bike lane, but there's no traffic around me. And I'm going to get up to this uh, traffic light, and then there will be a bike lane, and we'll continue from there. 
I'm paying attention, don't worry, I'm paying attention. Where are you going there, buddy? If I haven't said it lately, I really love this pit zoom mirror. It makes it, pit zoom mirror, just makes it super easy to see what the hell's going on. You know, I think I probably should have gone that way. I think that will take me closer to the water, so let me turn that way. That looks a little flooded. And to my right uh, is where the water is. You can see the swale is, is uh, quite wet. But I'm not quite sure how much longer I can go down here, actually, so. Not as visually impactful as I thought it may be. Here's a, uh, you can see, well, not that road, but the other roads coming up here. If you look down them, you can see uh, they're partially submerged still, which again, since the hurricane itself didn't bring that much water. You yeah, see that, that's, that's uh, pretty bad. So I'm not sure if that's a rain result or if that's surge result, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, that's pretty flooded as well, so. I'm glad I do not live in a spot where that is a realistic scenario. I found out, I didn't realize this, but my, <coughs> my house is 18 feet above sea level. So it would literally have to be like an end, end of days uh, scenario basically for that to flood. Entering the park, okay, there's a, uh, a lake where one does not normally exist. <laughs> a little wet there. I'll be very surprised if, um, if anyone's playing, I mean, now there's cars here. Yeah, there are people playing. But the, I mean, this kind of wind makes it just not, not fun. Gusty wind and pickleball do not go together. Birds have uh, wind, wind shades up or wind blockers, wind fabric. That's all gone. I don't know if they took it off or it got ripped off. I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. It looks like the cover is intact. That's good. Very good. More people playing than I expected. I mean, there's probably 10 courts going. Wow. That is die hard, die hard. That being said, if someone asked me to play, I probably would, so I don't know. But I have mental problems. Circling until someone decides they have a half mile of space so they can pull out. It appears that's what they need. If you sense sarcasm in, your, in my voice, you would be correct. Going the other direction, I had this nasty wind smack me in the face, now it's in my back. I feel much better now. Able to go much faster too. I'm in the middle of traffic again, yes, yes. Not for long, very limited exposure, no worries. I'm in the mood for a rolling outro, so here we go. If you found this video interesting, please think about giving it a big thumbs up if this is your first time visiting the channel. Please consider subscribing. If you're gonna subscribe, you can hit the notify bell. It's over there somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below. Um, what are your thoughts on the hurricane? What are your thoughts on me getting back out to ride two weeks after my crash? All that kind of fun stuff. Big thanks to my channel members. Channel members are, I guess they're over there. Appreciate your support. Channel members normally get early release of all my videos as well as other perks. And if you made it to the end of this video, please leave a comment with hashtag return yes return hashtag return in the comments and then i will know that you watch till the end of the video because that's uh, that's a great thing that's one of the, the best things if you want to support uh, myself or any content creator watching their videos through to the end is a great way to do that so yeah if you did hashtag return that's all i have for now i hope you have a great rest of your week like i said it feels like it's the weekend to me but it's not i have a one day work week coming up but that's all i got for now Thank you for all your well wishes, both of the crash and the hurricane. And till next time, Duffman out. Wow, nobody tried to steal it.